Hello everybody and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Odyssey where, oh yes, we were in the middle of a quest. Let's do this. Uh, I should probably track it. I, I did this this morning. It's been about, oh I don't know, 12 hours since the last recording I did. Haha, <laughs> because I ended up... He said he was blessed by the gods. Do we have to take horses? I ended Anna. up taking a few hours to hang out with friends instead of recording. So now I get to do this at night. Wait, weren't we supposed to avoid main roads and stuff? Like we were supposed to be stealthy. I don't know why Cassandra's not saying anything back to him Yeah, okay. I'm following you, I can't... I can't change your direction. If only you could follow me, then I could have you come around with me the whole game. I don't think it would work like that. That's probably why they make it so that you have to follow them. <laughs> Otherwise, you'd could have followers helping you essentially and then they might die and it would bug out your quest the music's really you know getting intense for nothing going on We don't want to get back on the okay. My bounty cleared. How nice. I didn't even have to do anything. Look, act natural. Not like you're wearing a hood for absolutely no reason. Like one that covers your face, too. With like exposed arms and legs. Like if you're gonna do the hood thing, do the whole getup, you know? Like an assassin! This incline is just inclining enough to make me do like make Cassandra like do a weird little little gait, like where you're just like tiptoeing along instead of actually running. This is awkward. Why is this so this is awkward? I don't oh my. Nope. I don't have one! But now I do. Oh, you did have to go to a sanctuary or a yeah. shrine, right? Is this it? Hopefully it is, because there's a whole lot of nothing. Only one ambush. And weird chit chat that was not chit chat. Yeah, I knew it was a woman! I'm starting to get sweaty under that hood. You're a woman. <laughs> nice of you to notice. You know. Alcibiades said exactly what I told him to. It was safer that way. I owe Alcibiades a lot for his help and for trusting you with my life as well. Enough lies. Tell me what's happening. I said I was a man, so nobody would recognize me. I needed to escape my husband unseen. Aha. And you trusted Alcibiades? No one escapes my husband. He'd find me. It's been tough. I'm not sure I would have lasted much. You longer. look very strong though. Like she looks very tough. Like 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 physically but also like mentally tough. Like she wouldn't take any crap, but like it's probably because like her experiences are, have hardened her a bit and again, like in the situation she was in, probably generally the man has the power and she can't do a lot, which is why she had to escape, you know. 
in Athens, women weren't citizens. They didn't have citizen rights, you know? So... So let me guess. Algibiadis owed you a favor, or now has some scheme where you owe him? I'm not sure what you mean. He didn't ask anything of me, and I've never known him to do so. I know many people he's helped at the expense of nobody but himself. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't surprise me. Like, I feel like he, he kind of, he has these schemes where he's like, I don't know, he has schemes, right? But then he has ones, like, I think those are kind of there to be, like, flamboyant, and then it kind of, like, makes these quieter ones less noticeable, you know? He's a good, I don't, I think he's a good fan. Like, I don't, I was mess. I don't know, I, earlier I was like, he's like a snake, but he's not a snake. He was like a ferret, which is like a snake-like cat, where it's like, you're never quite sure what they want, but like, they're not bad. I don't know. I could, but I could see him being bad is the thing too. So I don't know. I feel like now I'm like making excuses for it, but like, yeah. Anyway, I don't know. I'm glad that could help. Please give Alkiviadis my thanks. I only wish I had more to offer him. And you. I'll give you a help. sword. I have a lot. I'll never forget either of you. I have a lot. Ooh, I got a tiny blade. Tiny blade. Whoa, sweet. Nice. Oh, we there's a quest over here. Oh, They'll wait. be on high oh, alert I, here. I'm not supposed to be in here apparently. But no, I can see. I don't know. I can see Eclibiades being a really good guy, and I can also see him being a bad guy. Like, or you know, here's the thing. I could also crazy thought see him being both. You know, where it's like. You're good and bad. Like, I don't know. Like, you don't, it doesn't have to be one or the other necessarily. People are complicated, and maybe he's done bad things, but maybe he's also done good things. And for the most part, I don't mind helping. I knew it. Ecclesiastes, I'm not supposed to be in there. And now he's gonna be like, do you trust me now? And I'm gonna be like, oh, fine. And then he's gonna pull one over my, my balls. Wow. I didn't really picture you for the worshiping type. What is that outfit that woman is wearing? I love it. The sun and moon ah. combined could not grant the beauty that my bride-to-be was gifted. If the gods blessed me, they did so with one eye closed. But their eyes were wide open for her. Did you make that up yourself? I'm impressed. If I only heard the words, I'd swear you were a poet. My words are nowhere near what she deserves. So, you're in love? Yes, the wedding nears, and there is so what? much to be done. Are you actually... Wait, mm, mm, <laughs> is, mm, <laughs> I don't think he's actually getting married. I can't picture that. He, he sleeps around with the way... Unless, like, it's an open relationship political marriage where you can sleep around whoever you want, but... If you need help, I'm here for you. Accepting before knowing what I ask of you? That's a rare surprise. No. I do still need a few things. Food for an offering, a ring, and some flowers. If you could bring them to my bride, Iris, she'll make use of them. I've known you for a while now, but you've never mentioned Iris. There's plenty I haven't mentioned. I'm sure you could say the same to me. Mm -hmm. So what is it about Iris that turns you into, well, what I saw? You're not jealous, oh. are you? Don't worry, she's very old. Okay. <laughs> I suppose that's one of my favorite things about her. The open. Uh -huh. Okay. So, flowers, a ring, and food. Where can I find Iris? She should be at the Altar of Love. Aptly named, don't you think? Oh, and uh, don't be too taken uh, by her beauty. This could be fun, actually. It could be very fun. <gasps> if... <laughs> if it became a threesome, I'm just gonna put it out there. Uh, a bouquet? Uh, where does one buy a bouquet? Like, 
Like, or a ring or flowers. Wait, what? Oh, that's because I'm in bird form right now. Okay. I mean, I'm supposed to be bringing these things to her, but I do not know where these things are. That guy is only wearing a loincloth and some sort of belt. What temple is this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this I'm not allowed in there. Be well defended. I can go just outside it, but not inside it. Uh, I guess maybe I'll go look for the... The altar? It's in the northwestern part of the Singed Plains. Is this it? Ah! Oh no. Oh no. Ooh, that's a cool one. I am gonna have to murder some people. How odd. How odd that uh, in a mission with the Cleviades as my, you know, mission giver, I would have to kill people. Look at those ghosts just chilling. I wish it, it's like get a bouquet, food, and a wedding ring. At, oh, get it at the altar of love. Okay. I was like, I don't know what else. I thought I was going to have to pick up those three things and then bring them to her at the altar. But apparently they're already at the altar, which means I shouldn't have to go fetch them because I was supposed to bring them to her and she's at the altar of love. And those items are already there. Huh. If I'm understanding correctly. Maybe I have to, like, get them off of people who happen to be there. Seems kind of like a cheap wedding, though. If you don't have if you don't have those three things, that feels like a... I mean, I don't know when the whole wedding ring thing oh, came into being, yeah, honestly. But... If it goes back this far, I feel like it's, it's one of those things that you get prior <laughs> to the wedding. Like... I guess it is prior to the wedding. I don't I don't know how soon the wedding's gonna happen. That's true, I don't know. I don't know. This is gonna be a stealth mission with lots of killing. Oh boy. Am I stealing? I think this would be a nice enough offering. How many guards are there? Why are there guards at the altar of- Why can't I be at the altar of love? Like, what's up with that? Why am I not allowed in here? Why are there random shrines and altars and stuff that I'm not allowed to be in? They'll be watching for me. I need to be careful. Uh. 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 Oh my gosh, that's body on fire. Uh, I actually didn't know I could light the body on fire. Oh my gosh, I think that guy was looking in this direction. <laughs> Definitely not planning this one out very well. But it is what it is! Don't know why. I mean, I could just come through and, you know, steal things, I guess. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll stop murdering people. I'll just steal instead. It's murder or steal, you know? It's one or the other. Don't see me. Flowers should be good enough for the wedding. Oh, we're just we're sneaking. We couldn't just like go pick up something nice, right? We're like sneaking around. Hopefully, this jewelry is up to Al And standards. we're just like I mean, it's literally like we just picked up. It was like a big, like that's a big pile of jewelry. It's a big pile of flowers. And it was a big pile of food already on an altar. And I'm just taking it. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, it's good, it's good, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, maybe I'll take this too.
Hello, you don't look very happy. Let me guess. Oh my gosh. The sent She's you. actually gorgeous. She did. How did you know? He has a skill for making others do things he doesn't want to. On top of that, he prefers if those people are attractive. Thank you. He's so predictable. It's what made this whole thing so easy. I do. Oh, oh, mm -hmm. I was wondering because it said happily ever after. Da 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 question mark. So now I'm like, uh, so maybe he's just pretending to go through with this, like just to get something from her. I don't know. It almost sounds like you're using him. What has been easy? Making him fall in love with me, of course. Please, Alkiviadis is not the man you marry for I mean, now. you're not then wrong. why are you marrying him? Alkiviadis has a true chance of ruling one day. Ah. Well, he'll be the face, uh -huh. but I'll be the one truly leading the Aspasia to his Pericles. Okay. I mean, she's not wrong. But the thing here is that the, the apparent discrepancy is that he's in love and she's not, you know, and that she's using that because she thinks she's so gorgeous. And he did warn me to not be taken in by her beauty. She is beautiful, but she also kind of has cruel looking eyes, like a little bit, like, you know, maybe it's because it's the heavy eyeshadow, right? Or the heavy eyeliner, like done on purpose, right? To like make you think that, but like also just like her manner and tone is like, she just wants, she's just doing it for power, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Like, I can't blame her. And again, as a woman, she can only have power through her husband, you know? So, I can't really fault her too much, but I feel like she's being a little bit cruel about it. How can you treat someone like Alkibiadis that way? Oh, please. If anyone deserves it, it's Alkibiadis. Surely you've noticed. The obsession with sex, the lies, the drinking. So lying to him is what he deserves? Of course, and it's not like he'll get nothing in return. I mean, look at me. Yeah. And what if I tell Alkibiadis all of this? Why would you? You've seen him, he's happy, and I'll make sure he stays that way. There's nothing wrong with me getting something in return, but it's your choice. Thanks for helping with the wedding. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like he already knows. Like, I, I do... Like, I want to be honest with him and say, Hey. But at the same time, I'm like... He, he said she's very open, so apparently he's just... He can sleep with whoever he wants, but... I don't know. I feel like he knows exactly what's going on, though. Like, you know? Everybody always kind of underestimates him, I think. Altar of Prometheus. An interesting choice. Oh, is that the first fire? Or is that something else? Is that like... Yeah, it's fire. Cool. Okay, Klebiades. Interesting choice of a shrine. It's all done. Wonderful. So, what did you think about the Iris? Crap, I should have saved. You must see something in her that I don't. Well, that's true. Quite often, too. <laughs> but still, I'm surprised to hear you say that. Uh, I don't know. Like, I feel like he knows. I don't... And then if I tell him, he's gonna think I'm lying. You know? He's gonna, he's gonna think that I'm manip trying to manipulate him into not getting married. I don't know. You can't marry her. She told me she's using you for her own gain. Is that so? It is. I knew she was special. To think I wasn't able to catch on. I can't wait oh to Oh my marry gosh, her. you didn't know. I'm glad you and I were able to work together, Cassandra. <laughs> okay, so he didn't know, but like now that he's realized that she's manipulated him and he's used to the one manipulating, maybe it is a bit of a turn on. So what was all of this for? Everything you had me do couldn't have been for nothing. You burned my trust. Are you sure you want to know? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that package in Corinthia. I almost forgot about that. I needed to get rid of the Overos to pay off a debt. Plus, I needed spies to infiltrate Vardas' command. And my plan worked. Thanks to you. Alright. What about the politician? He was brilliant and opposed me. A fatal combination. So, he needed replacing. And oh. I had a much dumber man perfect for the job. 
He survived the party and you got him home safely. But it didn't matter in the end. Okay. The woman with the olives was. We talked about this. It wasn't about the woman, but her husband. He governs the trade routes between Attica and Meharis. Or, uh, I should say, I do now. Whew! I, t I knew it! Like, I didn't know it from the very beginning. I actually thought it was evil at the beginning. But, like, as you go along and you do things, and even Socrates drops in, it's like, uh, Clitiotis actually is a pretty clever dude. What about your friend? The one pretending to be a man? That was out she of the goodness me. of my heart. And gods curse anyone who doubts that. Yep, yep. No, that was a that was a good one. I've heard enough. Aren't you going to ask me about Iris? Let me guess. Rich house, respected family, with her yeah. wealth, you can rule all of us. She's a good connection. Of course not. I oh. marry for love. Oh. If those other things happen, well, I wouldn't complain. <laughs> I never would have guessed. Uh -huh. Each time, everyone sees a more serious Alcabiades. The Alcabiades I've only shown glimpses of in the past. One day you'll see everything I was working toward. And you'll know you helped make it happen. Attica and lands far beyond will thank you. Even if they don't know your name. I'm glad I could help. <laughs> I'll make sure you don't forget me when you leave Athens. I'd never forget you. You're far too useful. Thank you. A good man. In the end. Happily ever after. So that must be, I guess, the end of the Alclebiades uh, quest. Interesting. That was fun. I will miss Alclebiades. He was a fun guy. Um, I enjoy getting quests from him. But oh, ooh, yes, 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 yes. No. Oh man, now I'm sad. It was, it was really fun getting quests from him and Socrates. Although I don't know about Socrates, if Socrates is done. I kind of have a feeling Socrates is not done. But, for now, it would appear, at least in Attica. Oh, wait. Oh no, that was like, yeah, that was... I, I walked past that ages ago. 34? Holy freaky cow. What else do I want to do? So I think I'm actually just going to call it here. Uh, I fast traveled to the islands where Kyra is, our lover. Uh, at least our main lover, I think. Just to see if I need to finish up any more quests here. And I have at least one. But I think I'll just call this one here and make it a little bit of a shorter one. So um, hopefully... Well, I, I, I just, I, sorry, I'm, I should explain. I didn't really know what to do at this point. I, like, finished up with the Clebiades, and I was like, I don't really know what to do. I don't really have a plan. So I do want to finish up this area, though, because I can do the Conquest War once I finish up all the side quests in this area, in the Delos area. So um, I hope you all enjoyed. I am tired. <laughs> sorry. And, yes, I hope to see you all again next time.